With the purchase of a new HexNet interface, inside the box you will find the quick start instructions. On the HexNet interface, there is a unique serial number printed on the sticker. There is also an included USB cable. There are three LED lights on the HexNet. The first LED light shows communication status with the vehicle. It will flash several times then go solid green under normal conditions. Once actively scanning the vehicle, this LED light will flash green and red. The second LED light is the status of the Wi-Fi. Solid amber means the HexNet is in access point mode. Solid green means the HexNet is in infrastructure mode. More on this in a moment. The third LED light shows the status of the CPU in the HexNet. Flashing green means normal activity, and flashing red indicates the CPU is busy. The red button between the second and third LED lights has a few different functions. When the HexNet is powered up, a single short click of the button will toggle the Wi-Fi between access point and infrastructure mode. A long click of 15 seconds will reset the password, and a very long click of 45 seconds will do a factory reset. There are two Wi-Fi modes with the HexNet, Access Point and Infrastructure Mode. Access Point is where the HexNet is broadcasting a Wi-Fi signal. Laptops, tablets, and smartphones can connect directly to the HexNet in Access Point. The name of the Wi-Fi signal will be the serial number of the HexNet. In Infrastructure Mode, the HexNet is connected to an existing wireless network. Laptops, tablets, and smartphones on that same wireless network can connect to the HexNet. If your smartphone can be a Wi-Fi hotspot, then the HexNet can connect to the hotspot in infrastructure mode. For Android and iPhone devices, there is a VCDS mobile app that can be downloaded. Just search the App Store for VCDS Mobile by Rostec. The VCDS mobile app will make it a lot easier for smartphones and tablets to connect to the HexNet over Wi-Fi.